Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to show you how to tuck pelvis in golf swing. This is a really critical move that the pros do really well and unfortunately most of us do not. So if you want to make an even better golf swing, this is a must watch video. Sound good? Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from Hitting It Solid here. Thanks for watching. So let's talk about this tuck pelvis in golf swing and why is this even important? Well, first thing, our pelvis is this area here, right around our waistline, this, this bony area right around here, and it plays, plays a massive role in the golf swing. Not just the back swing, but the down swing in particular is huge, and this is where so many golfers get this wrong. This is something I wish I was shown when I first started playing golf. It would have made a huge difference back then. So, our pelvis, we want this tuck. So what do we mean by that is, I'm set up to a ball here. Typically what I see most golfers doing wrong, and this is probably one of the most common issues I see, particularly if I'm set up to a ball like this, if I was to draw a line right down my, my butt line and my tush line here, most golfers generally when they swing, they pull away from that line on the back swing, or if they maintain it on the back swing, on the down swing, they almost always pull away from it and they get their pelvis closer to the ball. Now, we always want to be maintaining that pelvis. We want to keep it tucked and as far away from that ball as possible because if it gets closer to the ball, what will happen is two things will happen. Your shaft will come down steeper and your hands will be a lot higher at impact, which brings into play toe shots, slices, every sort of poor golf shot that you don't want to do. So it's really important when you come down that this pelvis area stays tucked underneath my back here and allows you to have room to shallow and get the club coming from a little bit from the inside so it can make solid contact with the golf ball. So that's what most golfers do wrong. So what do we need to do to fix this? A lot of this comes in at your setup. A lot of golfers I see at setup, you might be able to relate to this. They'll have their legs too bent, and you can see if I was to draw a line down the end of my butt here, there's a really big gap between where my butt is and my shoes. When you do that, the opposite tends to happen in the golf swing. If you have really bent legs at a dress, what happens is the very opposite will happen at impact. You'll tend to stand lose that flex, you get a steep shaft, a lot of poor contact from there. So what I'd like to see you do right from the get-go, right from your setup, do this. As you get set up over the ball, feel like you've only got a tiny bit of flex in your legs. We've got our nice posture, we've only got a little bit of flex in our legs. And if I was to put my club down there, you can see there's not a big gap between my butt and when my shoe is there. And if you can get set up like that, that will make a huge difference for the rest of the golf swing about keeping that pelvis tucked here. So that's a really big piece. All right, in just a second, I'm gonna show you the second part I wanna to talk to you about. Okay, here's the second really big key about how to tuck pelvis in golf swing that will help you out. So. I spoke about the importance of getting that set up right, that's the first big key. Now the second big key is the start of the downswing. Most golfers, and a lot of this is due to that incorrect setup that I showed you earlier, when they're set up, as they start their downswing, they tend to quite often slide towards a target like this, and you'll see that left or lead hip of mine will get higher. If I was to make contact with the shot like that, you can see that that left hip tends to slide and get higher at impact than the rear hip. Now when you do that, I'll show you this from this angle here, if I slide, you can see there it automatically brings my hips, my pelvis, closer to the ball. And again, we're going to get that early extension. And I didn't touch on that earlier, but early extension is when we're at our setup here. And if I draw that line down there, and I get this pelvis close to the ball, that's early extending. So early extension is what we want to avoid. 
So this sliding and raising that lead hip is what gets you into a lot of trouble. And that's what we need to fix. So how can we fix that? So at the start of your downswing, this is the key move. We want to keep these, these hips at the start of the downswing. We want to get them very level. And how we do that, and we go to the top, is we do a little squat move like this. We get our both knees to do a little bit of external rotation outwards. As we do that, and when, when we lower our centre of gravity, our knees bend, what you'll find that'll do, that will get your hips level and it will help maintain your tush line. You won't early extend and you'll be able to keep that pelvis tucked. I'll show you it from this angle here. This is what happens. So we'll get our nice set up. Go to the top. And if we do our little squat move, you can see there my butt pushes back. I maintain that, that posture. Pelvis is tucked. I can bring the club from the inside. The club shallows. And I can make nice contact with the golf ball. So that squatting move is really key. So in just a moment, I'm going to show you a simple drill you can practice at home. This is really important. This ties this all in together. Okay, here's this simple drill you can practice at home to get this tucked pelvis in the golf swing. So you can see here I've got a chair here, and the reason I've got this, this is going to act as a reference point for my butt to help me keep that pelvis tucked so I can stay in posture and all those good things I've spoken about can happen in the golf swing. So what I want you to do is set up. Don't have to, again, you don't have to be hitting shots with this. This is great to practice at home. Again, utilize your video, your phone, to check yourself. So what I want you to do is, once you set up to a ball, get in your posture. Now I want your butt not to be quite touching the chair, have it at least an inch away. Now what you're aiming to do is, as you make your backswing and downswing, is have your butt push back. That'll help tuck the pelvis. Push against that chair and help you stay in posture and hit more solid golf shots. So here we go, I'm going to do this nice and slow. Top of the back swing. Just touching the chair there now. This is the real key bit, the down swing. I really want you to push down, and really push against that chair. The down swing is where really it all happens. So let's do one more. Just touching on the back swing, but on the down swing, I really want you to really push against that chair and it will come off that chair just past the impact position through the follow through. Utilize a chair, you can do this against a wall or anything you can use as a reference point that will help keep that pelvis tucked. A lot of great things will happen in your golf swing. If you have any questions or comments about that please let me know, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Do you want to know how to make an even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about the external trail shoulder rotation in golf, which ties in really well with this video. Do you want to know how to play even more amazing golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.